let's move on to perhaps a little uh, story with, uh, that, uh, that is a little happier. Now his love for one day owning sunglasses is what has driven a Kenyan sculptor to international fame. Now making sculptures that have been entered for international awards may not have been a goal when he started, but he's now an international award-winning artist. This is the story of a young man who has never been trained to do what he does best. The Kuna Trust Art Center in Nairobi is a place where artists can create and display their work. Kenyan artist Cyrus Kabiru, a sculptor and painter working at Kuna, is one of about 500 artists associated with the trust. His art finds new life in pieces of junk like bottle tops, wires and discarded plastics. Kabiru's latest project is inspired by renewable energy, which will be part of an exhibition highlighting the benefits of sustainable development on the environment. This is a windmill, the generator, this is the wiring of the, my alternative. And after the windmill, the end will be the light we need, the energy we need. That's why I have the lights on the bicycle. Kabiru is self-taught. He refused to go to art school even after his father offered to pay for his studies. The artist says he wanted to forge his own path and didn't want his vision to become influenced by teachers and other people. He's famous for his elaborate sea stunners, a unique range of eyewear. Kabiru says as a child he wanted to own a pair of glasses and his father told him to make some for himself. That challenge was the beginning of a creative journey that has seen him gain international acclaim. Kabiru's work sells for 700 US dollars and more. He says many Kenyans still shy away from buying his art because they can't afford it. His clients are mostly tourists and expatriates looking for souvenir pieces. He's full of fantasy. He, uh, and he makes the work in a very, very special kind of art. Um, and he's not nothing to um, repeat. I don't sell my work, but my work sells itself. So if you have something good, people will accept it. So there's no need of me selling. I let you just let, them, let my work sell itself, which is which is like it's giving me it's giving me a chance to think yeah if i make something that will sell on itself it's made me to think more the artist's pieces have seen him take part in various exhibitions both at home and abroad including shows in the united states france germany and south africa he was one of six Kenyan artists selected to take part in the prestigious Pan-African Barclays Litua art competition in July this year in South Africa. Kabiru is also a TED 2013 fellow. In another level, which I'm working hard to go to be on it. Um, this year it's like things are happening in my work, things are changing, and that's one of the thing that making me to see the change. The sculptor says he wants to set up his own workshop where aspiring creators can learn and grow to find their own unique style of art. Aaron Ocheng, KT News.